Alrighty, here we are again. We're back, man. We are back. We are rolling at Sharp Customs. It's still Saturday. Uh, we're probably an hour, maybe an hour and a half after our last video. Uh, ripping the Baja with the GT40, uh, I guess you would call it the Buck. Uh, it's the 3D print. As you can see, it, uh, took a little bit of, uh, you know, damage, uh, running it on top of the Baja body. Uh, just thought I would show everybody the, uh, kind of, kind of the carnage, you know, it's just the 3D print, so I really didn't expect much, yeah, yeah, it's Saturday night, man. Yeah, I'm having a bevy, you know. I uh, hope there's no uh, copyright. Yeah, I'm having a Coors. Hope there's no copyright. Don't give a shit, tell you the truth. And yeah, I'm, I'm having a dart, you know. But uh, anyhow, I'm going to pack this. Basically, like a cardboard box there. I'm going to pack this up in a box. I'm not going to just toss it away. I'm just going to... I'm missing a few parts though. That kind of bothers me. I might go back over to that field and I might scour around. I'm missing, uh, well, I don't know what I'm missing. I know for a fact I'm missing a headlight bucket, missing some other bits and pieces of the front end. Do I need them? No, nah, nah, I don't really need them. You know, th that buck, it served its purpose. It, it let me create the molds to create the GT40s. Let's have a look at this uh, this little Baja here. Now this, they, they classify this as a a one-fifth scale. I know we always, you know, I'm always talking uh, quarter scale, but that body actually fit on this pretty decent. I did have to cut, I had to trim out a little bit of the wheel wells, front and back, the fronts just for clearance on the wheels because these are you know these are pretty big freaking knobby tires you know like I said if I'd have had road tires for the front I probably would have put my primal slicks on the back because I'm pretty sure they're pretty sure they're almost a direct fit I never tried but check this out check this out this this is uh, this thing's a, a grass ripper I took the one clip out I'm gonna pull this 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 little panel, this thing has a whole shield that kind of goes on it. It's just this crappy, thin plastic. But look at the, look at the debris in there that it kind of collected going through the, uh, you know, through the grass. I'm trying to find the other clip so I can pull the, I want to take this, I want to take this off anyway so I can, you know, clean the, this is, this basically, this car here, it's a, you know, it's a it's a Roven, uh, thirty point five cc's. Now that doesn't even want to come off. I took the clips out. Look at all this debris in here. Like why doesn't it want? To, oh, there we go. Got to press it. Oh, oh, oh! Those things are like, those things are tough, man. Those things are tough. Let me I'm gonna grab it underneath with the pliers. Okay, drop the clip. This thing has a million these little these little hitch pin type clips. Look at they're everywhere. Like it, they hold the whole car. There's probably a hundred of them on this car. They are like literally, you know, they're they're everywhere. They hold a lot of bits and pieces on this car together. All that shield is doing is that shield is just inhibiting. Look at him behind here. Look at all this. Look at this. Uh, it's clover. That's what it is. It's clover. It's clover. Those are like little clover flowers, I believe. Not 100% on that. I'm not a horticulturist, but 
That's what they kind of look like to me. They look like the little clover flowers. Uh, my chickens would probably love that stuff. But that's all that's doing. That's just inhibiting, you know, it's just inhibiting the uh, everything to stay cool. I'll give it a good clean. The grass gets everywhere in these things. My, uh, my, my little stinger, obviously you can see it's missing it's missing the inner copper insert that was in it. It's over there. It's over there in the field somewhere. That was, uh, believe it or not, I made that. That was a that was a flashlight. It was one of those little press button LED flashlights. That's what the, my little stinger was made from. Uh, I used to make stingers out of those. Uh, little short shaving cream cans. They were like perfect for you know making a little little stinger, a little si I call it a stinger, but really what it is is it's a silencer. I should uh, let the viewers know that. It, basically it silences the sound a tiny bit, you know, kind of like a uh, you know, silencer you screw on to the end of a, a gun to, you know, deaden the sound. Kind of I like that. I don't like running the hot pipes on these because, you know, I run them right here in my own neighborhood and I don't like to, uh, I don't like to upset the neighbors too much. Even though, you know, the saying goes, this is going to be a funny one, the saying goes that every neighborhood has an asshole. And if you don't know who it is, hello? So anyhow, enough about this little Fiscale Baja. They are they are great little cars for the money that you you know that you purchase them for. They're they get a lot of plastic components like this one. It's got a lot of uh, it's got a lot of wobbly stuff that needs you know all needs tightened up. You know, constantly this this whole link bar is like so sloppy, and that's just from. That's just from use, but you know what? You can run tanks and tanks and tanks of gas through these things, and they're pretty dang durable. You know, I would say probably one of the first things you burn out in it is you probably wear the clutch out in it. Uh, enough of that little thing. I could go on and on about those things all day long. Uh, I love them. I got the other big one sitting up there on the shelf. Got a brand new clutch in it. I did run it, never videotaped it, but technically it is exactly the same as this one, other than it's got bigger tires, bigger rims, and the suspension is a little bit wider. But other than that, it is a Roven uh, 30.5, uh, exactly the same as this one. Really, really no difference. Um, I only I bought this one because you know it was a it was a good deal. It was a good deal. When I see the good deals, I, I pick them up. I pick them up. I buy them. That one, that one was a good deal, and they always tend to come like this one here came with this nice toolbox full of spare parts. Another wing. Came with some extra shocks. Came with extra set of tires. Uh, yeah, just uh, shock covers. It just came with so much stuff. It was like all the parts, all the little packages that had the parts in them, had the price tags on them. And it was like, holy shit, man. The parts were as much as the god dang car. You know, like uh, $450. You know, like. It's like that's what I that's I think that's what I paid for this one four four fifty something like that you know delivered oh delivered to my house with all its goodies that came with it same as that one that one came with a big box of parts you know extra parts I'm not sure I haven't I haven't taken a good look at the box that came with that one to see what's all in there but it's got upper and lower control arms and all that crap. And, yeah, kind of the same deal as this one. But, here you can see we've got another GT40 body. Fiberglass. 
I'm uh, just finessing it, you know, doing the uh, the trim lines, a little bit of filler here and there, you know, kind of getting it ready. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm getting it ready for uh, a couple coats of primer, and then it's going to be packaged up. And I believe this one is going, I believe it's going to Florida. That's uh, I believe where the client is. Now we're gonna we're gonna run over that way, over that way to that side of the garage. I'm gonna take my bevy with me. Um, I got another one. Look at this. I got another one on the go. Uh, about halfway, about halfway. I don't know if you want to call it fabricated or laminated. Uh, of course, while I'm doing these, I'm doing those. Uh, I'm doing those uh, boat panels. Uh, not, not, not making out very good with these things. I did make a few extra molds for them, but uh, for some reason I keep getting air bubbles in them. Which you know, this, that that's a pretty simple part as far as I'm concerned for fiberglassing. And you know, these things should these things should come out perfect every time, but they're not for some reason. Uh, I actually have better luck with the, doing the GT40 bodies, which you can see is a lot. It's a lot more intricate than just a kind of 90 degree, 90 degree panel. But that being said, this this is Lucky 13. Believe it or not, yes, Lucky 13, and that's what I'm going to sign on the card when I laminate it in here. It's number 13, and it will be number Lucky 13. Trust me, I'm going to do that. Uh, I believe I kind of forget where this one's going. This one is uh, this one is already sold, also. Uh, and right after I'm done this one, guess what? I gotta start another one. We'll be into like 14. 14! 14. 14 of these thick, crazy little GT40 bodies. I got the number 98. You got to see it go. Uh, we've got the yellow one up there that I've been making the components for. I have not yet uh, got to get back onto that one. That one is, uh, that one's gonna be a real special one. Uh, I can't wait to get back working on it because I got some I got some real cool features that I'm gonna do to that one. Of course you can see right in front of me I got this I got this four chew box car. I've been slowly picking at it. I got the power steering box in it. I've got the steering column in it. I mounted the uh, power brake system, 90 degree power brake system up underneath the dash. That was fun. Actually had to get the wife, the camera girl, to uh, help me hold that in there because the unit up underneath the dash was so dang awkward and heavy. I actually got her to, uh, you know, kind of tack weld it in place while I was kind of holding it where I thought it should go. I'm going to probably do a little more updates in the future on this car because there's lots more work to do on this car. We got to get a steering wheel for it. I uh, got lots of uh, sheet metal. I got to do some sheet metal work, obviously, on the floor. As you can see, there's you know lots of holes and whatnot. All that stuff's got to be uh, cut out. You know, and we're gonna pretty up. We're gonna pretty up the. Uh, we're gonna pretty up the firewall. Uh, probably gonna cut. Believe it or not, I'm probably gonna probably gonna do something like this. Probably believe do something like this. I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a lot of that ugly out of there and uh, kind of refabricate it with new sheet metal just because it's come on, look at it. It's 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 ugly. It's ugly. It's ugly it's uglier than ugly. So there you have it. Double shot from Sharp Customs, and I did say we were rolling, and I think in the last video the car was doing a little bit of rolling, I've yet to watch it, but I'm pretty sure it was doing some rolling, 
So there you have it. You got to see me twice tonight. And I think that's just about going to do it for Sharp Customs. You know the routine, man. I'm not going to repeat myself. Peace. I love you all. I'm out.